Once upon a time, a girl named Cinderella lived with her stepmother and two mean stepsisters. They made Cinderella clean and cook all day for them, leaving no time for Cinderella for herself. <laughs> One day, the king and queen of their village announced a grand ball for all the young ladies to attend. It was time for their son, the prince, to find a bride. Cinderella had to help make dresses for her mean stepsisters. She had no time to make a dress for herself. She worked hard on the dresses for her stepsisters, and they just made fun of her. Hurry up, said the stepmother. I am trying very hard, said Cinderella, as I want to get my dress started too. <laughs> the stepsisters laughed and said, Imagine Cinderella at the ball in her torn raggedy dress. <laughs> Cinderella just kept working to finish the stepsisters' dresses. On the night of the grand ball, a fine carriage picked up the stepsisters and stepmother but left Cinderella behind to do her chores. Cinderella had no dress anyway. She had no time left after making the stepsister's dresses to make her own. She waved goodbye and said aloud, I wish I could go to the ball. Then, poof! All of a sudden, a fairy godmother appeared. Cinderella could not believe her eyes. Who are you? said Cinderella. Well, I am your fairy godmother, and I will grant your wish to go to the ball. But what will I wear? said Cinderella, and how could I ever get there? Then, poof, with a touch of her magic wow. wand on Cinderella's head, Cinderella was dressed in the finest ball gown and special glass slippers that fit only her. Cinderella looked at herself and could not believe it. But how will I ever get there? said Cinderella. And then, poof! With the touch of her magic wand, the most beautiful carriage was waiting to take Cinderella to the ball. Have a wonderful time, said the fairy godmother. But remember, Cinderella, at midnight, everything goes back to the way it was before. Cinderella promised her fairy godmother she would leave the ball by midnight. Cinderella went off to the ball. She met the prince and they danced all night. They danced and danced, and they were having such a great time that Cinderella did not notice the time was slipping away. Dong! The clock rang. It was going to be midnight. Dong! Cinderella had to leave. The prince begged her to stay. She ran up the ballroom stairs, and one of her glass slippers fell off her foot. Please stay, said the prince. We have just met. Goodbye, she said, as she waved to the prince. And she slipped into her carriage and was whisked away. The prince was left standing on the ballroom stairs, holding Cinderella's glass slipper that had fallen off her foot. The prince knew he must find her by matching the glass slipper to the fair maiden Cinderella who fit that special shoe. The next day, he visited all the fair maidens and finally found Cinderella, who fit the glass slipper perfectly. Her stepmother could not believe it. How can this be? said the stepmother. I can't believe this, said one stepsister. Cinderella fits the slipper? said the other stepsister. The prince knew he had found his bride. Cinderella pulled the other glass slipper from her pocket. He said, 
Come with me to live in my castle, my future bride. <laughs> the prince and Cinderella had the most beautiful wedding in the whole land. And they lived happily ever after.